All right, today we're gonna take a look at this modified stealth shredder from NECA. It's from the 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I say modified because he's not totally a custom. Uh, he's essentially swapping figures together. Now, originally NECA released the shredder from the movie, uh, an extremely incredibly accurate representation. Don't mind the mask. That thing got ruined. I need to find a, a extra mask, but um, it was ruined in right out of the box. It must have got crushed in the factory somehow. Even the inside mesh right there is actually missing. It was falling apart right out of the box. Anyway, so this is the original shredder and the original foot soldier looks like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the foot soldier, the foot clan, he looks like this in the black. Now the bodies are identical between the original shredder and the foot. The bodies, it, literally they use the same tooling and it's just colored different. And the only other differences are the hands uh, because they each come with different hands. Shredder comes with bare hands and then these hands with the claws on them or the blades and then the heads. So hands and heads, everything else, even the feet, they're identical from uh, the original shredder to the original foot. And then at the very end, and for those of you who already know and you already swapped the bodies, to make this cape version I was using the super shredders cape but it was massive it was like down here and it bunched up under the neck and I didn't want to cut it and sew it and do anything crazy with it so I realized we had a Darth Vader floating around I'm not big into Star Wars I think Disney killed Star Wars in my opinion but we had a Vader floating around uh, now I I do like the classics I would like to get a 1 6 scale Vader I'd be sweet with that because the visuals, he looks amazing. Him and Yoda, maybe. Anyway, uh, come on, move over. So I took the Vader's cape and I noticed the neck of the cape was perfect. It was tiny and it fit right under uh, his actual neck because the way Shredder and the Foot Soldier uh, um, come together, it's this body and then the neck here. So under this neck, is where the cape rests and shredder actually has this little piece that's extra which is the collar which is again movie accurate plus it hides where the neck connects to the body on a foot soldier it doesn't matter because it's clothing and clothing so it looks like it's just uh his mask tucked under his shirt but for shredder it looks ugly and noticeable so they have that piece there now you're going to want to color that piece and we'll go over to how to swap it but I just wanted to show those of you who already know about this, this cape is actually from, I think it's Hasbro. This cape is from a Hasbro Vader. So if you want to do that switch over, because I've been getting into painting more and more and people have been uh, giving me you know, little projects to do. Uh, they want this painted, they want that painted. So it's like a little side gig. This I did myself just because I thought, man, that would be kind of cool. But it's so easy. It's not a gig where someone's going to pay me to do it. Uh, you could just do it yourself. So I'm kind of just making this video. You guys can go and do it yourself. And uh, I'll leave the um, really intensive work for the paying jobs. Anyhow, so you take the shredder. And essentially his arms here pop off because he has, they're made to come off easily. He has alternate hands. His head comes off not so easily, but it will come off. And without ruining anything, the arms pop off, the head pops off. Now with the head and the feet, you're going to want to use a blow dryer, a hair dryer. Some people like using hot water, warm water. I, under, I understand the concept because it's water. So when you dunk it in there, it goes in every nook and cranny. Uh, but with the hair dryer, it keeps it dry you don't have to deal with getting it wet and then drying it off. You hit the foot with a hairdryer for maybe 10 seconds and the foot will literally just pop right off. You give it a little tug and it'll come off. I don't suggest you pulling on the foot without warming it up though. That's a huge don't do it because the hinge in there is so small and fragile. Uh, you'll just tear uh, that connective point there where the hinge is with the foot. So be careful with it. Now, um, warm that up, pop the toe off, and slide off the uh, shin guard. So start with the feet and work your way up. Warm the toe, the feet, pop the foot off, 
and then take the shin guard off and it slides off. It's not glued. It's not pegged. It's just resting there. And then move up to his, um, his uh, forearms here. The finger, the hands come off easy. You don't need to warm anything up. Pop the hands off and just slide the, the forearm guards. They slide off as well. And then his head, warm his head up and pop his head off. And then the only thing left is uh, you should have a, a purple body with just the um, shoulder pads. Now these shoulder pads are a different story. They actually have a little peg that pegs in there and it's glued. So there's two things you can do. You can uh, warm it up and slowly peel it off and the peg will pop out. Then you'll have to fill that in with something. I used, I did that method and I used air drying clay and I just put clay in there. I mixed paint the best I could. If you look real close, you'll see it. I didn't put any finish on it yet because I haven't decided if I'm going to leave them this color or paint them something different. But you could kind of see the outline of the hole there. Again, I was considering painting them black, so it didn't really, uh, I wasn't really worried about covering the hole uh, too clearly. But because when you're looking at them like this, you, you don't even notice it. Anyway, so that's what I did. The second thing you can do is literally just run a razor under there, warm it up, slowly peel it back. And that's to make it pliable so you can fold it back and then slice it off where the peg is at. And then uh, when it cools off, it'll it'll cool in its normal position. That's why you warm things up to work with them with this soft plastic. Anyhow, once you cut that peg off, then you got to paint it. So no matter what you do, this shoulder blade, you're either going to have to fill it with air dry clay and then paint it or cut it off and then paint it, you know? So you're not going to get around that step. And that's essentially it. That's literally it. Pop stuff off, take the shin guards off, and then you deal with the shoulder blades. Once you take them off and you start putting it on the new shadow spread, the, sh the fucking shadow, stealth um, sh shredder. I was going to call them splinter. I don't know why. Anyhow, uh, once you put them on, it's literally just putting them back together when it comes to this guy. Because you have the foot soldier body. You have this body. Uh, take the head off. Take the hands off. These arm guards for the foot soldier, they slide right off. And then you put the uh, shin guards on for Shredder. You put the forearm guards on, put his hands back on. And then when it comes to the shoulder blades, what I did was I notched out a little tiny hole, just a tiny bit bigger than what's the peg that's on the shoulder blades, just so they're not straight glued on there and there's a little more um, connection. I pegged it in and you'll be able to measure where it goes. If you look on this guy, there's a line in the mold. See that line there where the mold uh, comes together right here. I, I just kind of cut halfway on both sides and eyed it up. And then um, you slide it in, you glue it and hold it down for a few seconds with super glue and then you're done. Then you paint this piece. This is the only painting you do when it comes to this guy. You paint this collar, which is uh, this collar, and that's it. So for Shredder, putting them together, the black one, you got to uh, glue these on and paint the collar. That is it for any work outside of just plugging his arm guards on. And then if you have uh, a Vader or maybe you find a loose one, maybe... Uh, you can even find the Vader cape on eBay. Find the Hasbro Vader. It's got to be the black series, the six inch, not the little tiny three inch ones. Find the cape, get the cape somehow if you want this exact look. And then you just pop it on uh, under everything. And then you pop his neck on and then his head because his head is two pieces. It's his head and his neck is two separate pieces, it's two separate pieces. And then you have uh, this look. Now you can, uh, the, I think one reason why Vader works so good is because of how his cape is designed similar to the, the original movie Shredder's cape. His cape f ruffles out and it covers the shoulder blades. So does this guy. And I, I think it's just the look they went for with Vader. I don't know if it's screen accurate or what, but I'm assuming it, it probably should be if that's what they're going for. But it gives you enough give 
to where if you want to have it on both sides, because this other side is still big enough to unfold it. See how much cape is folded under there? You unfold it and you can get a lot of cape. See, you can get a lot of cape. I don't know. I don't like how that looks, but I'm sure you can do something with it. I guess it's not too bad. However, it comes folded naturally. So you can literally find the folds, uh, fold it once, fold it twice. I think twice looks the best and have it just resting uh, behind there. So that's pretty much it, I think. I hope I didn't get too confusing with all you have to do. I was just talking about the overall process. But as you can tell, uh, it's probably one of the easiest modified things you can do. Uh, a lot of fans, when I post images of them, it gets a lot of attention. A lot more than anything I may have created or, or painted or done. Fans just really dig that. Um, I don't know, that black, sleek, uh, stealth ninja look of Shredder. Now, it's real cool having the movie accurate Shredder. But there's something about the uh, Shredder in all black. Once you go black, you won't go back. You know what I mean? Something real cool about that. Visually, uh, it's appealing. I, I don't know. It looks even a little more modern. Uh, maybe a little more... Uh, I don't know. It, but he looks friggin' badass. I think... Uh, I think I almost like him visually a little better than the original. Which is kind of like... When you're a fan and you grew up with this movie, it's... It's kind of like a sin to say. It's a crime to say that. But I do think I actually like him a little bit better <laughs> than uh, how he looked originally. But like I said before, it's a real easy to do. You don't have to mess with painting and, and re-sculpting stuff and making or 3D printing anything. You literally just switch the bodies. And I don't think this is something that NECA is going to do because you can do it so easily at home. By the time they promote it, you're going to go, oh, shit, you know, I could just switch the bodies and do it yourself. And uh, it's just so easy to do. Anyway, for the, the foot, I did add a little weathering just to kind of make them a bit different. Uh, added uh, the weathering here because there was glitter all over the uh, black areas. And I added some weathering there and then uh, some weathering there. Also to bring out some of that sculpt. And, and then a little bit in his mask. Kind of made him a little more of a, a beat up look. Uh, when I started weathering him though, he looked like maybe he fell through some drywall. <laughs> like in the movie, uh, don't Raph fall through drywall or some shit like that? He kind of looks like he went with Raph. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Uh, just in the past year, I've been growing a, a greater interest in learning how to sculpt. So ever since that, I've been amazed at the work, the sculptor, uh, or the whole sculpting team. I don't know if these are all sculpted by the same person or not. I know the turtles are. That's about all I know. But I just, I, I just find it so impressive, the work they do. It's like it's right from the movie, shrunken down in a little six-inch inch package. Six or seven-inch, I forget, but either or. It, that scale... Uh, I just can't even fathom it, but uh, I think that's because I'm thinking about sculpting a face that small. I'm pretty sure they sculpt it bigger, like 12 inch on the regular, and then they uh, scan it in a computer and then uh, shrink the sculpt. Anyway, I'd be, you know, I'd be blessed if I could figure out how to sculpt that good even in 12 inch, because the bigger you sculpt, the easier it is. But anyway, this seems to be the complete, as far as I understand it. Uh, movie line. I'm not big. I'm not interested in the cartoon line. I grew up with the cartoon line, but uh, I'm not interested in um, collecting those. I don't know. I like how these look, the movie ones, because it, it looks like they are the costumes right from the movie. Anyhow, let me know if this helped you for the stealth shredder, and let me know also if you dig that look uh, better as far as the, st the stealth shredder. I was even thinking about going in there with some purple or blue, dark blue and doing some wash or not wash, but uh, dry brushing, give them blue highlights similar to what they did here. But I just didn't want to touch them because he looked cool being just all black, you know, in, in a real matte muted way. 
All right, thoughts and opinions down below. I'm done.